have you ever thought that what they're telling you needs to be turned on its head to arrive at the truth so we'll, which is the being knowing the truth is the basis of good mental health and there are certain ideas certain things that are the cause of bad mental health Anu's anus who is Anu? Anu is God the Father Anu means the shining one it, of the Shumerian legends the father of Enlil and Enki Anu the shining one the shining self the shining self so the Romans what we know as Latin called the anus the anus after Anu to suppress because Anu was the name of God the Father the sky God by the ordinary people you know by the slaves by their con by the people they had conquered you know the followers of the Sphinx you know, the Carthaginians the Phoenicians So they call the anus the anus after Anu, the sky god, the god of the slaves. They turned everything upside down. And this was the basis of the Latin corruption, the corruption of Latin. A corruption, Latin is the basis of all our institutions and our universities, and the corruption is in the language. Now, if you look at the King James Version of the Bible, the Gospel according to St. Matthew, verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. And then, and then get to verse 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. So this is the beginning, the insertion. Remember in these days, everybody knew their family tree. So, And this is a document, the family tree, in the first chapter of Matthew, in the first page of the New Testament. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the genes... That come down to Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the male line. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary. What is this nonsense? This invalidates the whole document. This is an insertion by the Romans of the cult of Mithras, the doctrine of the virgin birth. So verse 1 and verse 16 both of those cannot be true we have a basic contradiction in the scripture that we're expected to believe which obviously is bad mental health which one is true is this is lied all this begat 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 and then no we have suddenly this absurd doctrine of the virgin birth well it's an absurd doctrine but it's in the cult of Mithras. It goes back to the creation of man in a test tube according to the Shumerian legends, by the goddess Inanna at Nippur. We are Nanny's little nippers. This was the doctrine of the virgin birth. Nothing to do with Jesus. Jesus was of the bloodline coming from Adam. And then, if you look in Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15, it's talking about setting a king over you. Who shall you choose to set as a king over you? It says, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. In other words, whom the shining self shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. There is nothing stranger than the virgin son of a virgin. He cannot set a stranger over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. We must have a man 
one who is my brother. So Latin and the Romans have corrupted the system, corrupted the church, corrupted the universities, and corrupted medicine, but corrupted humanity. You know, now we have, you know, when the Roman Empire started to collapse, or was collapsing about 400 AD, they decided that Jesus was God. When the Ro papal states were collapsing in 1870, they decided that the Pope was infallible. So it's just hanging on to power. And now they have a Pope who was a Hitler youth and was a professor of uh, dogmatic theology. Well, say after me, I am the professor of dogmatic theology. Do you want to be told by the Emperor of Rome, by Caesar, or do you want to know the shining self, the beloved, and be free?